I experienced at first hand something that went terribly wrong. Something that went wrong because there wasn't a quality framework in place that governed what happened to me whilst I was a patient in hospital. As a result, I suffered a misdiagnosis of my breast cancer and that led to a 15 month delay to the start of my potentially life-saving treatment. My presentation is entitled A Patient's Perspective on the Quality Agenda. And my starting point has to be, what does quality mean to patients and their families? Well, from my work as a patient advocate, I understand it to mean achieving as good an outcome as possible, being made to feel that you are the most important person within your pathway of care, and being treated with dignity, respect, and courtesy. This happy family photograph was taken almost exactly five years ago, when life seemed good and we felt very fortunate. However, what this photograph doesn't reveal is that this was a family heading towards disaster. At that time, we didn't know that cancer was growing silently in my body. <coughs> and we didn't know this because seven months earlier, after having what I had been told was a triple assessment, we had wrongly been told that I did not have breast cancer. We also didn't know that it would be a further seven long months before I would eventually be told that I had invasive breast cancer and required disfiguring surgery and chemotherapy. The medical error and the failure of the system to detect that error meant that the cancer had spread, had invaded the surrounding breast tissue and had reached the lymph nodes in my axilla. I decided to undergo surgery and treatment in London and so the second half of 2006 was spent travelling backwards and forwards between County Tipperary and the Royal Marsden Hospital. <coughs> As anyone who has been through treatment for breast cancer knows, it's a difficult time for all the members of a family. But we made sure that we tried to stay as positive as we could and tried to make the best of times when I wasn't debilitated by the chemotherapy. These smiles were displayed in the face of adversity and before we learnt that such harsh treatment would not have been required had I been correctly diagnosed the previous year. The apparent rapid and dramatic onset of the cancer after I had been given the all clear troubled me and I had many questions that needed to be answered. I arranged to meet with my Irish breast cancer surgeon. But at that meeting, it was left for me to request that my 2005 test results be reviewed. And it was a further five months before I was eventually called back to the hospital and given the shocking news that the results of the first biopsy specimen in 2005 had been incorrectly reported. <coughs> 